Hello, cicada friends. I have a cicada friend that I brought here for you. This is Dr. Gene Kritsky, and he lives in Cincinnati, and he knows everything about the cicadas. Take it away, Dr. Gene. Hi, I'm Dr. Gene Kritsky, and I'm a scientist who studies cicadas. I'm going to tell you about the periodical cicadas that are going to be appearing in your backyard in just three or four weeks. Periodical cicadas are bugs of history. They live underground for nearly 17 years before they emerge as immatures, transform to adult, and then fill our trees with cicada songs. This will all start when the ground temperature reaches 64 degrees Fahrenheit. After a day that we've had a nice heavy rain, if you go out right after sundown, you will start seeing little cicada nymphs popping their heads out of the soil. Not one or two, but hundreds of them will come out. They will come up and walk up an upright surface, trying to find a place where they can start that transformation into becoming a mature adult cicada. They do that by locking their little claws at the end of their legs into the trunk of a tree or a fence, or a wall, or even just a blade of grass. Eventually, after they're secure and you watch in your patient, you can see them at the back of their immature skin split open. And inside you can see the creamy white adult cicada getting ready to emerge from the skin. It'll slowly wriggle its way free here you see the still not mature adult cicada with its red eyes and creamy white body. It pulls itself out, eventually getting almost nearly upside down, holding on just by the little opening in its nymphal skin. It'll be like this for several minutes as it hardens the claws at the end of its adult legs so they can reach forward and grab the nymphal skin. And after a few attempts at doing a cicada sit-up, it'll be successful to grab that nymphal skin and slowly wriggle its abdomen free. And here you have an adult cicada, but it's not mature, fully mature yet. Notice the wings are all shriveled up and it's still all white in body color. The eyes are red, but the body hasn't darkened. The first thing it has to do is expand the wings. And it does that by pumping fluid through the wing veins. As that happens, the wings get longer and longer until eventually they are held like a tent over the back of the cicada's body. And here you have a typical looking cicada, but it's still not all the colors we see as the adults. After about another hour and a half, the exoskeleton, the outer skeleton of the cicada will slowly turn dark and the wing veins will turn orange and the legs will turn orange and we'll see the typical adult periodical cicada. It's still not ready to start its adult life. It'll climb up to the tops of trees where it will continue to mature and harden for the next five days. Then males will start singing. They sing to attract a female to be their mate. And after mating, the female will lay her eggs in the trees. If you were to walk outside the next morning after this occurred, you'll find the place littered with all these empty shells. Ghostly reminder of the adult cicadas that emerged just the night before. As time goes on, the trees get filled with cicadas. Hundreds of cicadas, thousands of cicadas, even millions of cicadas can be in your neighborhood. And this is where you can help. You can help by becoming a Cicada Safari Scout. And it's easy to do. Download the free Cicada Safari app from the Apple App Store or Google Play. Once you have it loaded, go on your own Cicada Safari. Go out and look, check the trees around your house. And if you see an adult periodical cicada, take its picture and submit it for verification. Once submitted, it'll go on our live map and allow you to see 
where your cicada is in the U.S. compared to other people's finds. So I hope you'll join us this year to map out the distribution of brood 10 of the periodical cicadas.